We begin this week as we often do with another successful launch from private spaceflight company SpaceX. Its cargo on this trip, however, is something entirely new. The Falcon 9 rocket carried a satellite that will operate NASA's Tropospheric Emissions Monitoring of Pollution Instrument, or TEMPO. TEMPO is NASA's first space-based instrument to monitor daytime air pollution in North America. The Smithsonian Astrophysical Observatory says TEMPO will revolutionize air quality forecasts. NASA says TEMPO should start work in late May or early June. Some bad news this week if you were planning to shop around for the best flight deals to space. Your options just shrank as billionaire Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit recently filed for bankruptcy. The company laid off about 85% of its workforce as it watched its market value plunge more than $3 billion in the past two years. In other news, NASA is ready to play Big Brother by observing a four-person crew in a Mars simulator in Houston, Texas for about a year. Inside this 3D printed structure called Shapia are four bedrooms, two bathrooms, a gym, and scattered objects to mimic the Martian experience. So the Crew Health and Performance Exploration Analog, or CHPIA, uh, was developed as a one-year Mars surface simulation with the intent that we can have crew in isolation and confinement with Mars realistic restrictions, and we can really start to understand how those restrictions are, are um, associated with their health and performance over that year. NASA says it will monitor human behavior in the close and confined quarters to see how well the crew gets along. The agency hopes to send astronauts to Mars sometime in the next decade. Finally this week, a beloved children's character and newly minted astronaut, Sean the Sheep, recently returned home. Sean joined NASA for its Artemis I trip to the moon late last year. He flew more than 2.2 million kilometers on his journey before digging his hooves back in British soil. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News.